So I finally got my phone back. It has been to my service provider and they sent it further on to LG and they returned it. They couldn't see the problem. So I'm gonna send it in again and attach this video so I can show them what happened. Now I haven't really tested it since it got back, but since this is a voiceover I know it's gonna fail. So let's just try to boot it up. I'm gonna assume that they have reset it to factory default, so I probably have to add my account again and stuff to to make it a good Chromecast. Now I know there are some uh, some ways to fix it, but it requires you root your phone. I could do that. I'm not afraid of doing that, and I might do it if I can't fix it this time. So let, but let's see what what goes. I will link uh, in the doobly doo down below where you can find the fix. It might work for you, it might not. But if you want the phone and, and want to give it a try, give it a try. So of course you need to add the Wi-Fi. Since they have reset it, that's okay. Just gonna enter the fast Wi-Fi password for guests. The other one is too complicated and takes long to type it in, so I don't want to do it right now. Let's just see at the version numbers. I will pop them up at the screen here so you clearly can see them if you can't see them on the phone screen. Oh dear, let's try that again. A lot of updates from from LG. I'm gonna install those. I don't know if that has anything to do with that, but as always, you have to have the newest version. Otherwise, they are just gonna complain. So let's see the Android version. It's 4.4.2, and the kernel is 3.4.0. And all these pop-ups. Well, we we are going to need to install the Chromecast app before we can port broadcast it over to the Chromecast. Um, it will probably also persist with Google Music Play, and wh whatever I, I transfer it over to the Chromecast, Netflix and, and everything, it has the same error. I just need to log into my Google account so I can get Chromecast. And this password I'm gonna hide. So you can't see it. There we go. Agree, yes. Walking in. I should note I don't have any uh, SIM card in it yet. Uh, it only runs on over Wi Fi for now, but the problem persists if I have a SIM card in or if I don't. Let's go and get Chromecast. Come on. There we go. I don't hope I have to configure too much of it since they have reset it. The Chromecast still works on my other phone, so we just have to configure it shortly for this one, I guess. Should be easy. Oh yeah, and all the apps are updating in the background, that's just great. That's it, the Chromecast is installed. Have to agree to stuff. Oh, that's the Chromecast, that was fast. Yes. And we are now connected. As you can see, the firmware of my Chromecast is uh, 19084. It should be the newest. I have checked it before and it's still the newest. I don't think it has anything to do with it. I don't think the problem lies in the Chromecast, the problem lies in the LG's Flex. Yeah, and the neighbor is lowering the moons. 
lawnmower thing outside. So sorry for the noise. Still update stuff. Done. All these pop-ups. So let's go to YouTube. Yeah, so we know that. Let's find a movie. TV on a, a Drogo, that's fine. Send it to the Chromecast. Let's turn the camera so you can see. And YouTube is on the screen. That works. And it starts playing as it should. But when we drag down here, crash. You get this arrow. Why? I do not know. So now we have to reboot the phone to get out of this and the UO will crash all the time, so it's hard to reboot because the button is not on top, but this OK button goes on top. So you have to click OK and then OK to reboot. And you have to be patient. Because you ha and you have to be fast. And try to stop it. Sometimes the touchscreen doesn't work. And then it's get really hard to reboot because you can't say yes or no or anything. I have the in my previous video it shows you that I can't use the touch but I got it back so that's good so now I just had to re reboot if you could you could switch to airplane mode as well and then turn it on again that helps sometimes but not always so reboot is the best one so when, while the phone is rebooting we just have to wait if it's playing a movie it will still be playing because it's a Chromecast playing it, not the phone. The phone just sends instructions to play the movie. And another thing, when it crashes, the background uh, colors or image wallpaper, it will change back to a default one. You can also see that in one of the other videos I've made. That's a really big problem because why do I have to change the background color uh, wallpaper back again every time? It has this crash? It's so annoying. Yeah, everyone likes Japanese commercials, they are great. And weird. Weird, weird. Place nice, drop down, damn, arrow. And still an arrow. Now I have to reboot the phone again, before I can get it back. Or maybe switch it into airplane mode, which works sometimes. But as you can see, it's hard to reboot the phone sometimes. You can really fight the phone to reboot. Oh, an anchor. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I wonder what she's doing. And this is my old phone, uh, Samsung Galaxy Nexus. It works great. No problem at all on the YouTube or the Chromecast at all. My girlfriend's phone, uh, Samsung S3, no problem at all. A colleague of mine has an LG G3, no problem at all. Why does there have to be the flex that has the problem? It's a great phone. It's just Chromecast would work. I would be happy. The problem with my Samsung here is the GPS is fried, so I can't use it for navigating, which I also use a lot. Or I should maybe get a TomTom -tom or something. See, no problem at all at this one. You can switch movies. Add them to the playlist. No errors at all. It works. Although society may try to tell us otherwise, the following videos prove that Put getting mindlessly no wasted is not the cool thing to do. Clear them all. Still nothing. Works like a jump. I usually use this phone to play them. And I have my Nexus, you know, the, the Flex laying next to it. 
but it's like having an extra remote just for the TV, and that's annoying as hell. And back to that. I will add a link down below so where you can fix the problem. It might work for you, it might not. I don't know. Also, the back should be self-healing. It's not at all. It's not at all self-healing. Still has scratches. I haven't been able to it. I've actually been quite careful. But sometimes the keys go in the same pocket and then gets a little scratch. It did not heal those at all. So self-filling, yeah my ass, it's not. But that's okay. That's not why I bought it. I bought it because of the big screen and cross cross. And the long battery life. And we're back to Terra. So, I can fight for that. It keeps coming and resets the background image if I has had a new one and save it for default one. Really annoying. And as I said, you can try switching it to Apple mode, but that's just as difficult because you really need to push it at the, si at the right time before the OK box comes. If it comes, you have to start all over. It's sad. It's really sad. But as I said, try the airplane mode, turn it on and off. That works. Links in the doobly doo to fix it. There are a lot of uh, people on the internet who has the same problem with the flex. The other LGs don't have the same problem. As far as I know, they have the same version of Android and uh, firmware your kernel version but still the flex has the problem please fix it or unlock the bootloader that will be really great come on